everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be learning our two octave A major scale. So grab your instrument, make sure you're in tune, and play along with me. A major has three sharps in it, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. You're probably used to playing F sharp and C sharp, so G sharp is the new one that we're adding. We're going to start with first finger on the G string. And then we need to do extensions on our G string for C sharp and our D string for G sharp. So our fingering is going to be one, extended two, four, open, one, extended two, four, and then open A. So I'll go ahead and play that for you. So you don't need to play third finger. So that's why it's one, two, four. Also make sure that you keep your thumb behind second finger. So really we're moving all of our fingers forward, except for that first finger, you leave it back behind. All right, so play the first octave with me. Here we go. Let's do two quarter notes. Ready, go. <laughs> that a little bit if you need to before we move on to the second octave. Okay, so for our second octave, we're going to start on open A. I'm using a fingering that might be a little bit different from what's on your scale sheet, but this is what I like to use. We're going to do open, one, three, shift to first finger on D, that's going to be your third tape, one, three on E, and then we go one on F sharp, two on G sharp, so it's a big whole step, and then three on A, which is gonna be right next to second finger. So let's go back and do this slower. Open A, first finger B, third finger C sharp, first finger on D, third finger on E. Why don't you play that with me? Let's put it together. A, B, sharp, two on G sharp, three on A. Now we're on E here with third finger. You're going up a whole step. So if you have tapes, you might have a tape on your E and then another tape on your F sharp. We're going up to that F sharp tape. So it's past fourth position. Thumb can stay back here in the crook of your neck, but you're going up past fourth position to that next tape. Then a big whole step for G sharp and A is going to be right next to G sharp, almost touching. And that note is actually your harmonic A. So if you're not sure where it is, that's how you can find it. Okay, so let's start on third finger E. First finger F sharp. Second finger G sharp. Third finger A. Notice that I'm lifting my elbow up here. It's not staying back behind the cello. We want it to come forward because eventually we'll go up even higher and we want to have space to do that. So you don't want your hand hitting the side of the cello. You're not going to be able to reach up high enough. So bring that elbow and that wrist forward. Sometimes when I say bring your elbow forward, I see people do this where you bring your elbow forward, but you leave your wrist back. Make sure that whole arm stays straight and then you bring it forward and around. Okay, so let's start on open A this time and do that slowly. Open A, play with me. B, C sharp, first finger D, third finger E, first finger F sharp, second finger G sharp, and third finger A. So go ahead and pause here and practice that second octave because we have lots of shifts. It can be kind of tricky. So go ahead and practice on your own and then we'll come back and play the whole scale together. All right, here is our whole two octave A major scale. We'll go up and then we'll go back down and we'll play two quarter notes on each. Starting first finger on the G string. Don't forget your extensions. Ready, go. <laughs>
you. Now don't worry if you don't get it on the first try, that's totally fine and normal. Just keep practicing these shifts, going back and forth, up and down your A string until you get really comfortable with it. All right, thanks guys, I hope you have a good week.